Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. As you know, you move towards the uh, very next semester, that is uh, semester number uh, two. And uh, in this segment, uh, the course which is assigned to me, that is botany basically. And uh, the uh, course title uh, of our subject is, that is plant systematics, anatomy and development. This is the basic introduction of the course basically. And course code is the uh, BOT302, that is the Botany 302 and credit hours which we covered uh, in this uh, subject that are uh, 431, uh, means uh, 3 uh, lecture, uh, theory lectures and one is the uh, practical like lab. So uh, plant systematics, anatomy and development, this is the course title of our subject and course code is the botany 302 and credit hours is 431 in this uh, subject we discuss about the as the name indicate plant systematics like uh, plants uh, how the plants are arranged in different groups and uh, mm, uh, how uh, the easily uh, how we uh, easily identify the plants without any uh, disturbance or distortion so uh, for uh, for the purpose that uh, we resolve all the problem uh, we uh, deal with the plant systematics anatomy and development like plant systematics we uh, systemize the uh, plants uh, categorize the plants and classify the plants according to their groups and according to their evolutionary relationships which are present uh, in each plants so Without any further delay, we uh, start with the uh, very first uh, point that is the uh, introduction to plant systematics. Introduction to plant systematics. Uh, this is our first lecture that is the introduction to plant systematics. So, uh, in the introduction, uh, we discuss about the uh, what is uh, systematics basically so systematics is the basically uh, study of kinds and diversity of organisms like kinds and variety of organisms uh, and the evolutionary relationship among them is systematics systematics may hum jo hai, wo three uh, things pe, uh, notice karenge, point out karenge, three things ko, like uh, kinds of plants and diversity of organisms and the uh, third thing is the evolutionary relationship so this is the systematics so uh, you can also say that the uh, taxonomy as well systematics another name of systematics is the taxonomy the study of systematics gives the order like uh, study of systematics gives the order and relationships among the organisms and order and relationship Mm, arise from evolutionary processes so these studies uh, give description of new species like uh, it organizes the animals organize the animals into groups like taxa so uh, this grouping uh, based on degree of evolutionary relatedness basically so the uh, some biologists uh, differentiate between systematics and taxonomy they believe taxonomy and systematics as well so uh, taxonomy and systematics what is taxonomy the original description of species basically the original original description uh, of species that is taxonomy and what is systematics the assignment of species into evolutionary groups like uh, species ko jo assign kiya jata hai evolutionary groups mein wo basically hamare paas kya hai this is the systematics so systematics are taxonomy based on two aspects these are the uh, morphology and evolution systematics or taxonomy based on two aspects first one is the morphology so uh, what is morphology uh, like uh, according to the modern classification system um, uh, that is given by Carolus Linnaeus and this system of classification uh, is uh, still used uh, nowadays so Carolus Linnaeus uh, believed that uh, different uh, species can be grouped into same categories 
Carlos Linnaeus uh, believe uh, on the uh, species like uh, different species um, grouped into uh, same categories on the basis of similarities between them. So, the group of animal with similar characteristics, group of animal with similar characteristics, forms a taxon. Group of animals with similar characteristics forms a taxon. So, Carolus Linnaeus recognized five taxa. Modern taxonomists use eight taxa, including earlier five taxa as well. The taxa are arranged hierarchically. So, these taxa are like kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species as well. So, uh, this is about the morphology. So, uh, there is another uh, point that is the evolution from where the uh, systematics based on morphology and evolution. Now, we move towards the point that is the evolution. Like uh, concept of evolution, like uh, Carolus Linnaeus did not accept evolution. Carolus Linnaeus ne evolution ko accept nahi kiya, but still many of his groupings slow evolutionary relationships. Lekin abhi bhi uski jo groupings hain, bohat zyada unme evolution relationship jo hai, wo uh, dekha ja raha. So morphological similarities between two animals have a genetic basis. Morphological similarities jo hai, two animals or two plants ke dhamiyan, wo kya hai, unme genetic basis jo hai, wo present hai. Jiske wajah se kya hai, it gives rise common evolutionary history. Uske wajah se unki jo uh, origin hai, like uh, evolutionary history hai, wo kya hai, wo common hai. So uh, animals or plants are grouped according to similar characteristics. Uh, uh, plants को क्या किया जाता है uh, similar characteristics की base पे uh, group में रखा जाता है like uh, एक uh, plant है उसके characteristics जो है वो same है तो दूसरे के भी same है तो उसके according जो है उसको group में uh, group में रखा जाता है the members of same taxonomic group are more closely related to each other than to members of different taxa so this is about the uh, concept of morphology and evolution uh, from which uh, systematics are, are taxonomy based upon and uh, next one is the aims and objectives of plant systematics so what are the aims and objectives of plant systematics so the aims and objective of natural selection basically are to uh, name aim and objective to hai natural selection ke wo kya hai name dena plant ko describe karna use or arrange karna basically this is the naming describing and arranging the plant so uh, aims of systematics is to develop affinities among plants so this arrangement should show degree of relationship like name describe and arrangement of plant ye jo hai ye arrangement kya karti hai ye uh, degree of relationship show kar rahi hai among the plants and this degree of relationship is called the affinities this degree of relationship is called the affinities um, so aim of systematic is to develop affinities among plants plants which have uh, common characteristics must have common origin okay the comparison of plants gives resemblance and difference to varying degrees so uh, it is obvious uh, the plants uh, which have several common characteristics must have common origin like uh, angiospermic plants produce flowers angiospermic plants kya hai flowers produce karte hain they are megasporangia like ovules covered by the ovary so ovary ripens to form fruit all or angiosperm have vessels in the xylem so these common characters show that the angiosperms must have some common ancestor similarly angiosperm shares uh, some characteristics with the gymnosperms so both are seed producing plants they have similar internal structure of stem it shows that some kind of close affinities are present between these two groups these similarities are uh, due to the uh, common ancestor angiosperms and gymnosperms are arranged very close to each other so these groups also share characteristics with pteridophytes with pteridophytes all these three groups like pteridophytes gymnosperms and angiosperm develop vascular tissue 
and they have dominant sporophyte generation these three groups are placed in larger taxonomic group of plants they are arranged into taxonomic hierarchy on the basis of these affinities so this is about the aims and objectives of the plant systematics now we move towards the uh, very next point of our lecture that is the importance of plant systematics so what is the importance of plant systematics so importance of plant systematics plant systematics has great importance for the study of botany like great importance is ki study of botany ke liye plant systematics ki like uh, um, plant systematics used to describe different species the description of each new species is preserved and it is used for comparison so uh, uh, plant systematics also used to name different plants like uh, it sets rule for nomenclature so the nomenclature uh, has eliminated the confusion among different botanists now knowledge of plants can be so the knowledge of plants can be easily uh, detected or shared between botanist of different countries without problem of language and culture as well so uh, third point is the develop evolutionary relationship plant systematics develop evolutionary evolutionary relationship among different groups of plants so it gives evolutionary trends among the plants as well so there is another point that is the fourth point uh, of importance of plant systematics that is uh, provides basis for the comparison plant systematics provides basis for the comparison these uh, bases are the basically uh, morphological anatomical and cytological structures and uh, among different structures basically these are the uh, bases for comparison so fifth point is the plant systematics also provides bases of genetics genetic analysis are performed on the basis of systematics provides basis of genetics and genetic analysis are performed on the basis of systematics and last one point of the importance of plant systematics is that is the plant systematic has great importance in agriculture and herbal medicines great importance in agriculture and as well as the herbal medicine so it provides us economic importance of different plants as well so uh, this is about the introduction of plant systematics and uh, there are the important uh, terms or important points which have to remember like uh, you uh, you can tell about the uh, what is systematics and what are the affinities and also uh, you can uh, define as uh, plant taxonomy and uh, the factors which is based on the plant taxonomy as well and also you can uh, give the uh, importance of the plant systematics and aims and objectives of plant taxonomy as well so this is about the first lecture that is introduction to plant systematics